Taylor Swift, a name that was once synonymous with the music industry, has far transcended it. Whether you love her or hate her, you know who she is. It is no easy feat to stay relevant in an oversaturated industry for over a decade and still grow in popularity with every passing year. And yet somehow, she made it happen. It's like, you know, I'm, I'm 32, so, so we're considered geriatric pop stars. No, I don't think so. so. They, they start trying to put us out to pasture at age 25. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just happy to be here. No, yeah. oh, no, no, no. It's pointless to argue her impact at this point. It's an objective truth that she's the biggest artist in the game right now. And with that title comes an abundant amount of equal love and hate. But in the case of this blonde artist, both the amounts are ridiculously blown out of proportions that it makes me wonder, why the hell are the reactions about Taylor Swift always so extreme? On one hand, you got the vicious hate that she receives on the daily, if you even want to call it that, because this and this and this are downright heinous crimes meant to cause harm to Taylor, both physically and mentally. The artist has opened up about her struggles of being in the spotlight, what with the long years of bullying and slut-shaming she suffered at the hands of the public and the tabloids. You know, I struggle a lot with the idea that, you know, my life has become unmanageably um, sized and that I, you know, not to sound too dark, but like I just struggle with the idea of like not feeling like a person. But she remained strong and continued to prove herself as a long-standing artist. Her bravery, however, was rewarded with more vile hate that can only be explained by misogyny. Several male artists have done far, far worse. Yet, they still got people rallying behind them, justifying their actions and protecting their predatory actions. But when it comes to female artists, if they don't fit in the mold you put them in, they get stoned and hated for the smallest things. A recent example is Chapel Roan, who is apparently the pinnacle of everything wrong in this world for having a brain and criticizing the Democratic Party for their wrongdoings. Here we have a self-aware American pop artist, and instead of commanding her for her honesty, people are dragging her name through the mud. And on the other hand, you got the fans. Swifties are one of the most hardcore and loyal fan bases that exist. Even other fandoms can attest to that. But as loving as they can be, they can also be unhinged. They think they know Taylor like the palm of their hands just because she sings openly about her experiences. So they make up narratives and run with them. Take, for example, what happened when Taylor and Joe broke up. To this day, Swifties vilify Joe and call him all sorts of names without knowing a lick of what happened between them. I just think it's weird to obsess over your favorite's love life and think you're entitled to make claims and stories out of it. Swifties can get weirdly possessive and controlling over Taylor's life. It's no wonder she stopped doing those secret sessions. It's no doubt that Taylor loves her fans, but even she knows how uncontrollable they can get. Why can't the public and fans be normal about Taylor? Everything involving her gets turned up to 11. The reactions to her actions, mistakes, or simple mishaps are always blown out of proportion or misinterpreted, and her fans only make things worse. There are times when I think Taylor should be rightfully criticized, like with the news of her carbon emissions, her silence on the ongoing gene sides around the world, and her being friends with a Trump supporter despite endorsing Kamala. And there are times when the criticism is plain irrational hate, like bringing up her dating history to shame her, dunking on her performances, and the infamous 2016 hate train. This is all to say that Taylor Swift is just another person. Her celebrity status does not give her immunity from valid criticism, nor is it an invitation to instigate hate. We don't know much about what goes on in her life, nor should we. She's no villain or angel. She's no bad person or good person. She's just Taylor. That's all I got to say for now. Thank you for watching.